Who does not like a good shotgun? All right, the Remington 870. So is Remington back? What are they doing? Are they gonna be restored to their old glory? And is the 870 shotgun gonna come back to what it once was? That's some of the stuff we're gonna talk about today along with this actual 870 that I have here and some of the things that I have done to it. Now, if you don't know, the shotgun is commonly referred to as the and yes, I had to bleep that out because that is the old common verbiage that used to be used for a female dog. But the reason is anybody that knows shotguns knows this sound. And generally when you hear that sound, you do not want to be on the business end of it and you start running. All right, before we really get into this, a huge shout out to Flatline Fiber, huge supporter of the channel. They make all those sexy soft goods for your hard use items. Whether you are talking about a sling, an ear pro wrap, a dump pouch, They've got something for you, brace wraps, all that good stuff. Go ahead and check them out at flatlinefiberco.com. I think I got that wrong last time, flatlinefiberco.com. So what is the 870? What is this thing? This is a 12 gauge pump action shotgun. One of the most iconic shotguns that has been used all over the world for all kinds of different things. However, they were bought by a private equity firm and their quality control went downhill and eventually they went bankrupt. So another one of those kind of stories, but Remington is back and they are producing things again. They used to come in a ton of different flavors, but this one specifically is the 12 gauge pump action that is going to shoot either two and three quarter or three inch shells. And it will come in variants anywhere from three, I think is the lowest all the way up to a seven shell magazine capacity in that tube. I'm generally gonna see a lot of six. This one specifically is the seven plus one version of it. And there are just a ton of options out there and things that you can do to these as well. These 870s come in either that iconic wood look, which was really popular for the police magnums, or like this, gonna have some polymer furniture in a variety of different colors and stocks. There were a ton of different options on these back in the day. This is a pump action, so it is manually loaded by working that fore end. No auto loading here. When it comes to the sights on this thing, generally something in this price category in this range is just gonna have that single bead front sight post up there. And like I said, these generally came with several options and there are a plethora of other aftermarket accessories that you can do to this 870 from furniture to sights to different chokes, different magazine tubes. So you and the three amigos can go out there and blast on the range all day long. So if you are a lover of the shotgun, go ahead and let me know in the comments and give the video a like. But let's talk about specifically what I have done to this shotgun to kind of bring it into the modern era or change it from what it once was because when I first bought it, it had one of those stupid, really flimsy kind of side folding stocks that held shells in the end of it. It was, it was terrible. So I got rid of that and I went to the Magpul furniture, which you can see very nice stuff right there. You got a lot of options from sling points. You can have the m -walk accessories up on that fore end. And then you have some edges that kind of come up so you can actually get your hand around that thing and work that action a little bit better. And then I do have that Mesa tactical side saddle on there. That's gonna hold eight shells. They have a ton of different versions of that. Um, some have that quad rail across the top or that pick rail across the top. And then others do not. The others have less capacity. And I think there's one that actually went up to 10 at one point. And there were just different versions. So you can trick that thing out any way you want. As far as everything else on this shotgun, it's pretty much stock, but there are some things I kind of have some future plans with because it's old. This one is about 13 years old now. So I bought this one before the decline of what was once Remington. 
So it needs maybe, you know, a new spring in there, probably a better magazine follower. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually uh, make some use of that rail up there and probably put a, you know, more budget friendly optic on it just to have fun with out there on the range. And then of course, since Magpul has the option in the stock and on the M-Lock up here to uh, put things on, I'll be running one of those sexy flatline fiber slings on there. Now when it comes to running the 870, like I said, it is a pump action shotgun. You have got to work for this thing. And as I've said about shotguns before, if you don't run them, they will most assuredly run you. Um, and that's why I've been doing more shotgun stuff recently because I need to brush up on my shotgun skills. Everything from the initial loading of that magazine to where you're loading your rounds in to the emergency reloads, which I completely suck at right now and I'm trying to get better at, which brings me on to why I have these snap caps up here. So those are practice rounds so I can actually practice my speed reloads and all that stuff or just practice good reloading fundamentals with a shotgun because it is vastly different than anything else out there. Now, when it comes to actually operating and working this, you're going to have a single-sided safety right here, which is a push from your right to the left. We'll put that on fire. So that's gonna be kind of important to know, right? And then for clearing this thing out, you have a release lever right here for your bolt group. And you just depress that and you can run that action, get all of those shells out of there. And then of course, make sure that that thing is going to be clear. As far as loading, very simple. Easiest way to do that is just have it over your shoulder like this. You push this gate in and you start loading your shells till your tube is full. And then you can put one on the pipe and make sure you are topped off. All right, so when it comes to the Remington brand here, like I said, this one is approximately 13 years old if I'm remembering correctly. So I bought this long before the quality control issues and the subsequent bankruptcy. So what about this brand? It's been nothing but good to me. The Remington 700 rifles, the Remington 870 shotguns are iconic and they have been some of the best ones out there. Unfortunately, they had some problems which eventually led to their demise, but now they are back. So their goal has been to reproduce at the pinnacle of quality that they once were. And I hope that happens because these things are just awesome. Like I said, they're one of the most iconic and well-known shotguns out there, the Remington brand is one of the oldest brands out there. And I really hope that they do well and they do kind of restore themselves to that once greatness that we all know. I mean, think about how many sniper rifles that are Remington 700s that were tricked out and made by companies or even 870s that have been done up. It's just a brand and a quality product that unfortunately was run into the ground. I am curious to know what are your thoughts on the 12 gauges, specifically the Remington 870. Some people would say that shotguns are antiquated and outdated. I would beg to differ. They are extremely viable and uh, durable weapon systems, depending on your knowledge of them, your load, what capacity you're using them in. They can be used for a decent amount of distance. They can be used with buckshot. They can be used with slugs for different distance. They can be used with different breaching rounds. They can be used with different sock rounds or less lethal rounds. There is just a lot when it comes to a good gauge. And I quite frankly love them quite a bit. So if you're in the same camp, definitely let me know in the comments. Well, that's what I have for you all today. Let me know what else would you do or would you do anything to your 870 if this one was yours or when you get one, hopefully when they come back out with all the cool models. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you wanna support the channel, you can check out the Patreon or you can go to the swag link to Shall Not Comply store, and you can buy all the swag for the channel. All that stuff does help. Or use any of the links that will be down below or in the build list, which will be the first link in the description and in the comments. It's at my blog, tacticalconsiderations.com. You can check that out. You guys get out there on the range, have some fun, get a hold of a shotgun and run it, or let it run you on the range if you don't practice enough with it. I will see you guys on the next one.